we'll get our impressive grocery haul. These will keep us fed for the next decade. Oh god, this thing weighs a ton! Uh, hang on, I can carry this one instead. The uh, heck? This one's heavy too! Just get the door for me. <laughs> Thank you, Opa. Hello? Foxy? Are you up there? Opa? Ah! Why are you working in the pitch dark? How can you stand it? Almost gave me a heart attack. The darkness beckons. You light dwellers will never understand. Feel the mighty sting of a light dweller. The light! It burns us! Aw, I love your art. Can you draw me a cute little mouse? I do accept commissions. You'll get personalized art and support what I do. Request complete. Cute little mouse drawn in Red Fox's art style. Aw, perfect! They're all so adorable! Well, it's all yours. I do not require any drawing instruments. However, I will be happy to take your seat. As if being an artist wasn't starving enough. It's garbage day today. I can take care of the recycling. Yes, please take good care of our recyclables. I will. I'm the best recycle mommy. Recycle mommy, huh? That means I'm a trash daddy. The irresistible fill. Ew, I hate it. Yo, Otter, high five. Yeah, bro. Okay, see ya. Wow, that hand was very moist. Opa, what are you playing? Dad of War. <laughs> what? He plays a stoic father who goes on a challenging journey with his son after being harassed by a senseless door to door solicitor. Father! No! Whoa, is that your son screaming? Yeah, every time I die, he lets out such heartbreaking cries. Oh, I died again. Father! Father! Father, get up! And again. Don't leave me alone here! And... How's the game going? Father! Traumatizing. That voice is forever engraved in my head. So hot. The shady trail ends here. Should we fast walk to the next shady spot up there? Walking faster might make us just as hot as walking under the sun for a little longer. Besides, I'll get my sexy brown tan under the sun. I burn. Oh, God, let's make a run for it. Since you don't like scary rides, do you want to go on that teacup ride? Sure, Opa. Yo, bro, I just remembered you could turn the cup by hand, too. Yes, let's make ours spin the fastest. And go! So the dumb boy spun the cup round and round. And dumber boy helped as he giggled with glee. Amy tried to scream, but her voice got lost in a revolving terror. When the family came to a complete stop, the two boys realized what they'd done, but it was too late. Hey, cuz, we got you something to drink. Yeah, have a sip. It might make you feel better. Oh, <gasps> look! Whoa. This elephant's ear is so pretty. I want to have one someday. It's way too big for our house. You see, this beautiful plant could live outside in the summer. Well, you could also live outside in the summer. Opa, do you want to die? Mind you, we're in public, my dear wife. I feel safe to sass. I don't care, my dear, dear husband. Otter's been quiet. What's he up to? What are you doing with your thumb? I'm trying to bend my thumb to make it touch my wrist. What? Why? Um, 
I don't know. It's a free country. I'm taking this hand before you hurt yourself. No, it's my body. No, it's ours. You know I own 50% of it. And the hospital bills. I think they'll like this snack. And here's something sweet we can add. This should be enough to fill the box at home. Yeah, a good variety of Korean snacks for your friends to try. Later that day. Shoot, I can't fit them all in the shipping box. Oh no. Oh no. Physically, I'm well. But mentally, motivation and energy are lacking lately. I thought I'd have a new job by now, and my life as a nighttime comic artist would have resumed. Instead, I find myself curled up on the couch, not doing the work I should be doing to better my future. What's wrong with me lately? Uh, excuse me? What the heck? Can't you see I'm trying to run my daily self-loathing session here? How rude. How outrageous. There's almost half the couch space open on the other side. Some people just don't get the concept of personal space around here. At least she's warm. I'll allow this. She's lucky I'm such an understanding person. Keep the jug an inch away from your lips. I think I'm finally getting the hang of playing the jug. And shape the lips like you're drinking out of a straw. Don't mind me, just playing along with your music. How dare you compare my beautiful jug playing with your butt noises? It was a joke. Tell me I'm funny. I finally found the perfect gift for her. I just ordered yours too. Huh? Didn't you order my present last week? I did, but this one goes with that gift. How many gifts did you get for me? Well, just three. Three? It took me a month to pick out a single gift for you. I just like picking out presents for you. It's the thought that counts. Gift giving isn't a competition. New family rule. You can only buy one gift for me. No. Opa, I request a snuggle. But this couch has insufficient space available to hold us both. Fear not! I have a solution! Does it involve incinerating someone? Behold! Fox.zip! I only occupy two megabytes of space now. Oh, wow! Amazing compression ratio! Impossibly compact! A perfect fit! Foxy, why are we so weird? We are? Aw, I thought we were just having fun. Sometimes, when you're sleeping, I can hear you having a bad dream. <sighs> All I can do is wake you up from your nightmare. Foxy? <sighs> and hope a snuggle will keep you safe through the night. Shh, it's okay. Just a bad dream. Go back to sleep. <sighs> Tell us what you baked for us, Sophie. It's a Manchester tart with lemon custard and banana cream base. Oh dear, it's all liquidy. Oh, that's what she said. Ugh. Can we watch the show as mature adults here, please? What? You're the one who makes that joke all the time. How dare you accuse me of such a thing? I would never stoop so low. You wanna go, punk? I don't remember much about what we did during the sixth year of our marriage. So I feel fortunate that I kept up with my comic diary. Time to scroll down our memory lane. During the sixth year of our marriage, I got to see you drunk for the first time. Grew my facial hair to the longest ever, finished a rough hiking trail together, and overall kept each other sane during the lockdown. Or insane? One thing's for sure, our love grew each day, and it'll continue to grow through many years to come.
happy sixth anniversary to my silly, smart, cute, and lovely life partner. Let's stay happy and healthy together. Otter. Hmm? You doing all right, Foxy? You look kind of in distress. Oh no. What's wrong? Is it me? Did I do something to upset you? No, it's just my mom. She's upsetting me. Oh, thank God it isn't me this time. Foxy! Opa, you came back! I was so tired today. Me too. The workday would never end. Should we just quit our jobs? Sure. Wow, this river is so pretty during the sunset. I'll slow down so you can enjoy the view over the bridge longer. This is so romantic. I love you, Boris. I love you too, baby girl. Going seven flippin' miles under the speed limit in a no-passing zone? You know, some of us had to work all day and would love to get home sometime today. Opa, don't fall asleep. It's 7 p.m. It will ruin your sleep tonight. Hmm? I'm awake, not sleep. And there he goes. It's his funeral. That night. Why am I the one who can't fall asleep? How? Opa, I have no energy. Wish we could quickly recharge ourselves like this phone. Mm-hmm. Unless... Don't! I wonder if they have that sourdough bread we like. Let's go check it out. Heck, we could even get a couple and freeze them, since they're out half the time. Huh? Where'd you go? You nerd. Luckily, we had more green onions in the back. Thank you so much. Um, I'll say your name to thank her properly. Uh, ver... Very tie? Variety? Oh god, she must think I'm staring at her chest. Say something, Otter. Use your wits to prove your innocence. I like your name tag. Are you hitting on me? I wasn't looking at your chest. Security! Did you know that riding a roller coaster could help pass a kidney stone? WTF? Oh, don't fall asleep yet. Here comes the best part, where you don't say anything and then make a super awkward exit. I could never shop there again. What would happen if we both died in our sleep? What? Like, who's eventually going to find our bodies? Will people even notice that we're missing? Either our landlord for missing rent, or our work. Possibly our parents. Oh god, maybe I should dress nicer in bed. Oh, I'll wear my fancy suit and tie in bed then. <laughs> what the heck? Why? Girl, just hear me out. Because here's what's gonna happen. They died in this sleep, detective. No sign of foul play. Two more tax-paying grunt workers of society lost. It's tragic, but my god, at least them suit and tire bitchin'. Ugh, I've been on writer's block for a week. Taking a break might help, Opa. I suppose. Soothe the mind by assembling pricey plastic bricks. Exhilarate the soul through some game adventures and challenges. Ah, it's working. I can feel my mind beginning to clear. So clear and empty of inspirations. Is this the end? When I come to snuggle you, your fast beating heart greets me with excitement. Soon the beat slows. Your soft, whispering heart muffles the noises in my head. Your warmth, your scent, your sound, fully immersed in your peaceful world.
next to you is always my favorite spot to rest. She's mad, I can tell. When you've bonded with someone for a long time, you can pick up on even the subtlest cues from them. No matter how hard they're trying to not let it show. Wonder what's got her so mad. Finally, some good rest after a long day of work. Can't wait to wake up all refreshed tomorrow. We still gotta do our taxes. I hope our landlord will renew our lease and not kick us out. What are you doing? Don't do that right before bedtime. Bad Fox, bad. Ah, uh, I can't help it. Thanks for watching. Check the latest episode and also playlist with similar episodes like this one. See you in the next video.